Have your heart set on a new 4K TV? We're going to help you pick the right one. We compared features and prices with regression analysis to see what you're actually paying for. 4K technology means more pixels packed in every inch, but your eye can't decipher the improved resolution unless you have a big TV or you sit close to the screen. So don't go too small, or you'll never notice the difference in quality. Take a look at this chart. How far do you sit from your TV? Six feet? Then you need at least a 50 inch TV for your eye to be able to see the improved picture quality. Eight feet away, you'll need at least a 65 inch TV. If you sit nine feet away from your TV, you'll need a screen over 70 inches. But the bigger you go, the more you'll pay for each additional inch. It will cost you about $1,000 to go from a 55 inch to a 65 inch TV. But it will cost you $2,000 to go up another 10 inches to a 75 inch TV. How about those curved TVs? This feature will cost you an additional $400, all else being equal. Most critics have said that it doesn't improve the viewing experience. In fact, many say it makes it worse if you aren't sitting dead center. But it does look like a piece of art in your living room. So it seems the only reason to go for the curve would be for style or to impress your friends. Should you go 3D? The answer is no. I've had a 3D TV for years and haven't even tried it once. Even if you think you would, according to our regression analysis, this feature adds about $1,000 to the price. You don't need it, you won't use it, and it's way too expensive. The brand you choose will impact the price, but also the quality. Based on our analysis, this is how much these brands are priced above or below the model. So again, figure out your viewing distance and the minimum size TV you need to appreciate the 4K quality skip the curve, and definitely skip the 3D if you can. 